Hello and happy Monday everyone, I'm John Armas, otherwise known as Ace Bullion, and today we're going to be having a look at the Lyoplerodon, which is the prehistoric life Congo, the one ounce silver coin. So, if you've been collecting, if you've been you know, enjoying the series so far, chances are you might enjoy this. So, stay tuned, uh, don't forget to check out the links down below, where you can find the link to Silver Trader's website, Ace Bullion, and of course the Precious Metal Forum. Well, there you go, here we go. So here we are, this is the Lyoplorodon, the eighth coin in the series uh, for the prehistoric life Congo series. Uh, now there's a mintage of about 10,000 I believe of these. And of course um, it's made by the Scottsdale Mint. It's one ounce silver um, and it's pure three nines fine silver. You, well, sorry, four nines fine silver as you can see down below here. So you got one ounce, uh, four nine well silver four nines fine 20 francs is the denomination and of course um we have it is a coin because it's um from the republic democrat of the of congo so there you go uh and of course there's the shield and everything else um and every time i review a coin i always get that right or wrong sorry wrong that's the answer i am losing it Right, we're going to turn it over because I pulled it out of its capsule so we can have a good look at this. Um, it took me ages and ages and ages to try to get Lyle Plural done um, to a point where I can actually see the word. I'm not... Yeah, anyway, it was a long practice. So, we'll start off at the very top at like 12 o'clock position. We can see here that we have the prehistoric life. There it is. And then we have the details here, which are... Lyle Plural done, and then we have between uh, 166 and 163.5 mil years BC. Um, and of course the year 2022. And then we have some really cool facts, which are, you know, uh, which is the, like, which period. So uh, it was definitely older than the uh, Triastic period. It was definitely older than the Jurassic period. And Crustaceous. Uh, see here. So which which one would that fall? It was 166. Sorry, all right, no, so it wasn't in Triastic. Once oh so it, so this would have lived apologies in the Jurassic period. Sorry, my apologies there. Um, so, at least I got to show you guys what they were. Um, so, this is the monster here. This is the lovely beast. And before I go off and before I wind, you know, wind up a bunch of paleontologists, um, or as they you know, are self-proclaiming with themselves, i.e. nerds, um, that's not me, by the way. I've gone on their website and they call themselves nerds. Um, made me laugh, actually. <laughs> uh, perhaps it was just a few threads. I don't know. But anyway, moving on. Um, we're going to see here that this was, of course, a apex predator, uh, a carnivorous predator. In fact, you know, pretty much this thing would eat anything that it could find. So, you know, fish, uh, small mammals, etc., etc. I believe it's a, it was about 12 meters long, essentially. Um, and, and it, it's just crazy. So you would not want to go into the water with one of these things. If you did, well, it's game over. If it got a hold of you, that's it. It's end of the story. It's actually pretty detailed. <laughs> that all right, I'm going to get in trouble. So I'm, I'm going to say the obvious here. That looks like a dolphin, <laughs> which it's not, by the way. And when I zoom in, you'll see it. it but from afar, it kind of looks like a dolphin. This here looks, and this is where I'm going to get in trouble for it, looks very similar to a modern day kind of crocodile if you kind of compress things and, you know, yeah, and that is totally where, you know, I'll get in trouble. And yes, I appreciate eons and all that, but there you go. 
all that gibberish meant something to a paleontologist. So here it is. Look at the detail on this coin. It is actually really nice. Uh, I know a few of you guys have been collecting, but look, look at the actual gloss going around to highlight certain areas of the coin. And just, it is really nice. Look at the fine, fine details here. You can see, you know, the little ripple being made. The bubbles getting carried down. And this coin is actually really nice. Here's what I meant about the fake dolphin, which isn't a dolphin at all. There you go. Actually, under magnification, it still kind of does look like it, but... I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Um, but this has been a series. This is the eighth coin that has come out. Um, and they're doing a spectacular job with the series as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I'm not too sure how many. I, I thought there was. this might be the last one. Uh, but perhaps it could be, of course, you know, a few more. I'm not too, too sure. Um, anyway, it... A polite reminder, by the way, with this series, uh, and the Silver Trader does list this on his website, uh, that of course, you know, coins you know, may have small marks or small blemishes. This is just part of the Scottsdale treatment. So sadly, you know, be aware of that. Um, I can't find anything on this coin, but there probably is going to be something somewhere that's really obvious that he's seen in a few spots. And of course, I'm not seeing it because, well, I may have gotten one that's just really, really good. So, um, but yeah, there you go. This is probably his photo uh, video, a uh, photo coin, by the way. Um, so there we go. It is a, yeah, it, 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 it is really nice. I'd actually like to see this in a colored version where you can see the water being kind of blue and everything else. But overall, I like the series. So yeah i'm not too sure anyway let me know what your thoughts and opinions are tell me what your views are um because i like to know who's actually collecting these um i still can't find the overall you know number that's going to be minted but as we're in the drastic age at this point i'm just wondering is the next coin going to be in the crustaceous mm. well there you go Thank you for watching, everyone. Have a great Monday, wherever you are. Um, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday for another spectacular video. Thank you for watching. Bye.